San Francisco, Pier 45. October, I don't know, October 26th, I think, 2014. Yeah, October in San Francisco. I'm mainly here to see one thing. It's a little bit of a touristy area at first glance. I'm here to see the Musee Makanehi. As you can see. I'm gonna sit in this barber chair and get a back massage. It lifelike with a fan. It's pretty entertaining. Let's move on to. Yeah, that was all it did. My quarter right here to just get through. So the Thimble Theater. Put a quarter in here. <laughs> this is awesome. worth a quarter. At least in today's money, I don't know. I don't know what year this is from, but I wonder if it was different. Plus the fact that you'd only need to put one quarter in it for all the, the people around you to see it. Just think, state-of-the-art entertainment. Okay, this is really cool. This is, you know, a marble type proto pinball game almost. What you do is you control a catcher here with this knob and you control a kicker with this knob. And I have one kick left and the game might have reset because I took too long. I don't know. I'm pretty surprised I knew how to do that. Nope, nope, I can still do it. So see his leg moving. I've got to kick the ball and then catch it with the other guy. It's really hard. I haven't been able to catch one ball yet after four quarters. I'll try and do it, but it's it's virtually impossible while I'm filming. Yeah, it's really tough, but it's really fun. I'm gonna try one more quarter, but I'm not gonna film it because it's impossible to manage it with one hand. Check it out, I caught one. I totally caught one, the next one I did. Um, it's gonna score. See, the 20 went up. I've got two, two balls captured now inside the guy's head or arms or whatever. No kidding, as soon as I turned it off, like I said, I caught some more. Um, and there you can see, I actually caught six this time. And what's really neat is, when you catch it with this guy, you return it to the slot there. See behind his head? And you get to you get to shoot it again. So you start with about, I don't know, seven or eight. And uh, if you miss them all, that's all you get. But if you catch him, you get to go again. So uh, you can run up the score a little bit higher than the actual number of balls. So I got it up to 60. I'm gonna call it a win for me and uh, kicker and catcher for amusement only. I got a glare here, so it's a little hard to see. This is like a, kind of a marbles game. Kind of hard to see, I think. But uh, you pull a lever and a ball is gonna pop out of this chamber here. I'm gonna pull the lever. Sorry, I missed it, filmed the wrong thing. So the ball popped out of that slot, it's gonna be down there. Now I'm gonna spin a handle on the front of the machine. And the idea is to launch the ball out into one of the chambers and get a score. So there, landed in one of these over here. You got a 200. Neat, I've got a few other scores already. 
pretty cool. I guess you're supposed to brag to your friends that you scored high on, uh, I think it's up for this. This one's really ingenious. It's another marbles game. And the idea is that a, a marble pops out here and starts rolling. And when you can manipulate this lever, you raise the layer and it'll pop to the second layer and then start rolling this way. There's exit gates at each end. And the idea is to successfully manipulate it to get a ball to the top of the peak, which I haven't even gotten past level four, I don't believe. Again, very, very difficult to show you while I'm filming, but I might as well try. Uh, I already put a dollar into it, probably. Yeah, and the neat thing is the exit gates correspond to scoring levels. So you see, you'll get a 1,000, 3,000, depending on what level you land at. So the exit gates uh, give you a score. It's actually a really cool kind of neat thing. Oh, it was one of my best ones while filming. Nah, that'll be quicker. Jeez, much quicker. Oh my god. I think I might be all no, I got one. God. It's jumping over the first rail. What do you shoot out with these ancient games? Alright, one more. That was embarrassing. I gotta be faster. Harder than it looks, people. Jeez. Brutal. Could be my last one. You're fighting your own inertia. It's tricky. Tricky game. Sorry for all the reflections. This is just a really strange, creepy mannequin with moving eyes and some kind of text under his jacket. I don't really get it. This one feels very unusual.
Tower of London there and kind of stamper. I don't know, it looks like someone bought a stamper and stamped it on there on paper for real. That's it. The other one at least had the blessing. I feel horrified. That's it. It's a quarter's worth of entertainment. I wish I had a few. I don't know, see like any information about a lot of these. They could do a little better with telling us what year they think the item's from at the very least. But maybe I, maybe there's a program and I missed it. I don't know. Man, this one really put me in my place. It's one of those classic strong, strong meter tests with the bull. You gotta press the horns together to get a rating of how strong you are. I managed to get, I think I hit little man, <laughs> just below clerk and student, not even playboy. My brother could have made it to a woodcutter maybe. I'm wondering. That's the highest Superman, Bullman, and a Cowboy. Bullman is the second highest. Look, if you are easily offended, do not play this machine. Oh, so we're going to see. Are they farting? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> if you are easily offended, that's just to get your quarter. You think something really bad could happen. <laughs> Song of the Prairie. <laughs> amazing. I'm not going to be able to show you much because it's really hard to control, but it's a crane game, no prizes. Now I've got to let go of the camera or I'm going to press. There we go, I did it. Getting good at this. Extra time. These are cool. They're the old crank movies. I'm going to describe it there. This one's with Marilyn Monroe. You look in there and you crank the crank and you see a very framey picture film as you crank the crank. You can even stop on individual frames if you want to since they're just photographs flipping by really fast. I'm gonna try the harem one now, which was originally 10 cents and still is, it looks like. It hasn't been modified and I don't think I have a 10 cent piece, so I guess I won't see the Sultan's harem. Well, this one's pretty good. All this titillating is it's sort of tense. Pretty cool, that. It doesn't indicate drop in a quarter and see the curtain go up to watch the girls dance. It doesn't say that they're little child doll dancers. Kind of, kind of expected something a little different. I bet a lot of people put quarters in this had different expectations. Control the handle, and when you do that, the movie ends. We're gonna try this because I do suffer from achy feet. Uh, I'm gonna put in 25 cents. Stand close.
library to my feet. Stimulates circulation a little bit. It's 1889, something like that. And the Emile Renault, Renault, the oldest machine here. This one doesn't even have a name. <laughs> Sad dad. There's a clock in the background. This is really bad. Uh, I don't know. The clock's kind of crazy. It's sort of sideways there, so I guess the clock says it's about 2.30 in the morning. I think Chad's got to work in the morning. Eh? Things aren't going so well here. Little baby down there. He looks like he's happy. That is I'm so not even taking this. I just gotta show you the animation there. What the heck? Sounds sounds excellent. Oh! This is the not for kids area of the old arcade museum. Sorry, I'm just letting you have a peek here. I don't need to see this stuff. <laughs> For a quarter, that's all you get. Naughty Maria. unless there's more to come. Maybe just, maybe it's a longer show and I'm not being patient. Right now just the, uh, just those guys at the end are doing something. And the uh, fire department is cranking something. The rest of it's not working. I think this one might need a little work to get back to its, uh, golden age. Made of matchsticks. It says it was made by San Quentin Inmates. Isn't that pretty awesome? Matchsticks. And here is one from our childhood. I remember this one from Ocean City. Arm wrestling. I remember that face. Old Dan Gladly. Here we are, just outside the museum. Musee Mechanique. Very beautiful day. This is October. The Bay Area. It's pretty crazy. 
pretty cool. I didn't even see all the machines, but I definitely spent about 10, 12 bucks in here. Good times. I'm gonna head back now. Soon time to get ready for some fish.